Welcome, ha. Hey, Fifi Manfred on YouTube, another big, big, big edition of Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Uh, it's your first time that you are here. Thank you very much, Sir. What joining us? Thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. No? Thank you very much, um, Sir. Oh boy, need didn't come on or has if you if if you've been here for a very long time again. Thank you very much. Um, we don't take your support for granted. Cry what has on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. Um, we say we love you. We say thank you to BB Awayamaya. We take thank you to the support that you've given us. And then we have a lot to unpack for you of Fifi Manfred on YouTube. We have a lot of conversation to delve through. We have a lot of things to say. And see, again, subscribe to the channel. On this one, subscribe to the channel and turn on notification. Hasi, we give you the back to back to back to back to back content. And it's the best that you ever get it to us on Fifi Manfred on YouTube. So subscribe, turn on notification, the notification turn and do choose all. And when you do choose all, make sure that you share the content to whoever, wherever, in any group that you are in. Let them enjoy the analysis. No? And then there are lots of things. Champions League Day is going on. You be removed the betting odds are there. The link to the groups no? in the description below. Tap on the various links. No? Join the Fifi Manfred WhatsApp channel, Fifi Manfred Special Betting Group, and then of course Fifi Manfred Telegram Group. You know, the codes are in there. Four of them. Four of them. There is one of them, seven odd, 62 odd, a number of odds in there. Look through all of them. Choose the one that fits you. See if you can take risk. See if you can take risk. All of them. And enjoy it over there with Fifi Manfred in the various channels. No? And I'm sure by the close of the day, there will be some good news. I will hold on and But today, Mami Ray Remo, see. Show see a Coco Ball, Liverpool game. No? I think, say, Obi Adiatum, say, in terms of the display, at Chelsea the corner. It was talking much on Chelsea. In fact, people asking questions say, was it um Mareska master class or it was any slots? I mean unpreparedness in this animal. Now people are asking questions on Liverpool, Liverpool's passive 424 press. Before said not Chelsea Bequan for no, nobody was asking questions of Liverpool's 424 press. But all of a sudden, people are now beginning to ask questions of that kind of press and slot a use your Liverpool and people think that it may go on to affect this team going for it. But then again, I want to look at certain and specific things. Around. I think that at the back way clear, even in the lead up to some match way, was the quality of Moises Kaiseido on the ball and without the ball, and how in Kofu Bebe GD said, in terms of growth, in terms of how good a midfielder can be in terms of the development since moises kai said with first timer or by chelsea um, the first game away to west Ham or con cd penalty any sunny money about since that time everybody now believes that today moises kai said is one of the best midfielders if not the best in, in fact even in draft Arsenal legend emmanuel petit on in on no post-match analysis he described moises kai said as the best midfielder our English Premier League in, in Premier League. Like now you look at I say those statistics. You look at how on the day who compare you to somebody like Ryan Gravenbach. And uh, before the game, Gravenbach was seen to be one of the best players in the midfield area. In fact, let us not take anything away from Gravenbach. He's an excellent player. The only thing is that Gravenbach and yet the normal number six, but Anne Slot has been able to get that out of him. He has been able to get him to play in a way that he is fitting a better for the Ryan Gravenbach. And he's excelling at it so a natural eight but essentially playing as a six to pick up the ball uses ball carrying ability move into the channels um receive the ball in tight space and creates chances for liverpool it has been very very important for um, liverpool in the english Premier League this season but moses Caicedo went on to his step and then literally literally announced himself to the world said now we'll see grabbing but you being another year the best player in the english Premier League. but my back me and me moses Caicedo, no I'm stamping my feet on this step and I'm telling everybody I'm a quality player. And he did. He did that excellently well. In fact, um, wherever you go in terms of um, people that analyze the game, wherever you go in terms of people that watch the game. In fact, Ngofosi, apart from the fact that Curtis Jones scored a goal and did an excellent job on Cole Palmer, maybe the man of the match in Kachos in drop up, should have been to Abante Fernand Moses Kaisero. But obviously, because of the win, it goes to, it went to Abante Fernand. Um, Curtis Jones and all of that. So people spoke about. Him. In, in fact, in terms of, in terms of uh, um, um, statistics on the day, who share statistics at Chelsea for in after the game. 
if you go to Okta Analyst and you look at the statistics of the game, I Chelsea have loads on the ball. In terms of player statistics from Okta Analyst, I brand friend Moses Caicedo was one of the best on the day in terms of having the ball in tight space. I was saying, say, Chelsea did something very, very peculiar. In that fucking church, Chelsea had 18 touches in Liverpool's box. That was the first time in, I think, about 2021. I will be quite away to Anfield. Then you saw performance, that dominance performance in Liverpool for boxing. Again, there was a specific rule and that Enzo Maresca. It made my advantage a friend of Moses Caicedo. So what Enzo Maresca was doing allowed Moses Caicedo to do in attack. He said, Chelsea had built it. He said, Noni Madweke. Jaden Sancho on the other side. Uh, there's going to be Nicolas Jackson inside. There's going to be Copan. But Copan was supposed to attack the edge of the box. Now, what Ed, uh, Moses Kai said was doing in that fact was that if Chelsea were moving the ball, I said Liverpool forward by in a very, very deep block and they were blocking almost every passing lane and defending their box very well. Kai said was supposed to make deep runs into the box, not all moving somebody away, um, I mean, away from Copan. I said, it opens up the space for Copan. I mean, on the day, they didn't particularly work to perfection, but you still give a lot of credit to our brand friend Moise Caicedo with a job that he did on the ball, with a job that he did without the ball, with a job that he did when he was controlling games. I think Moise Caicedo was spot on. 88.1% of Chelsea pass completion rates you know, was the highest on record since 2023-2024 season by any team in the English Premier League at Anfield. Chelsea literally went to Anfield and then bust it out and especially with our brand friend Moses Caicedo in the middle of the pack in there uh, if you look at the quality that he comes in with if you look at how good he is our uh, your friend Moses Caicedo everybody after the game accepted that he is one of the best the best the best the best player in there in terms of the quality that he comes in terms of how much he was able to dictate the pace of the game but something came up another player of what he said it was important, it was very good. Oh, boy, boy, yeah. that was our game in the most advanced friend Romeo Lavia. Now, say, Oshe Romeo Lavia, Lavia's style of play is more like a DLP. La Lavia is a more DLP than Moses Kaiser. So, I said, Moses Kaiser, Kaiser, you're more box to box. Like I said, there was an attacking role for him, or box in Coco attack, try to create, help Chelsea to create chances, try to pull men away. It was more of a sophisticated role for Abrantia friend Moses Caicedo. Now, whilst Lavia was more tagged with sitting deep and then helping him build up, because Lavia's first skill set, and the first um, thing I want to profile, so the fact say, or your press resistance. Now, on the sad DMs, high class DMs, normally DLP, it's normally good on the ball. One of the things that you do very well is that when you give the ball to them under pressure, you're able to first scan and screen around them. And they be a make us same way consistently before Subi receive the ball. Maybe I was scanning bear four or five, six times. I was scanning several times over the shoulder. Receive the ball on the half turn. Now, the half turn because so that he can be scanning whilst he's receiving and then also using a part of his body to be shielding the ball to the side where he is not scanning. Because indeed, so or a half turn you see here, he's scanning here over his shoulder from here from his cover, his eye shadow. He can tell if somebody's coming from behind her, then he will tell them know what to do. Can block with the other feet, go in and block with the shoulder or the body from this side. But in this side, it's solely for protection. So we finish it about unaware. Now this part body blocks it now. These guys do it so well. There was one that Romeo Lavia here just receiving the ball. Ryan Gavin Batch. If we, this side air back. No, Gavin Batch was from this side. Now he just blocks the ball with this part of the body, hangs out of pressure, and then he goes. And that's essentially a dear brand to our friend Romeo Lavia. And everybody I'll say give Nibia is giving Romeo Lavia a lot of a lot of plaudits. Everybody's beginning to accept say, see, the boy is stopped and he hasn't played a lot of football. Essentially, um when prior in the game, I mean Mariska decided to rest him like in that game against City. Rest, let's prepare you. Same for a brand to friend Riz James to make sure that they gain their confidence, make sure that they 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 they, they grow into the game. They become important players, they gain the momentum, they gain a match fitness, you know, which is very, very important. Now, Romeo Lavia was also excellent on the day. Top player, top player, whatever you want from a brand of friend Romeo Lavia, on the ball without the ball. Now, Lavia doesn't particularly cover the most ground as Moses Kai said. He will cover more, more shorter distances. Now, there is a reason why people are saying, say, Lavia, any Moses Kai said will complement each other. Than when Enzo Fernandez is there. I've seen people who are supposed to come on Twitter and say, say 
If you look at Lavia now, she can say they have started two matches together this season, all two big games, quote and unquote. But in our Chelsea, you know, but again, all of them in terms of performance, Chelsea were dominating in them. It is, I, I, I want to give you a little explanation. First one, I did about for our Chelsea and so the show team said Romeo Lavia any a direct replacement for Enzo Fernandez for show team. Romeo Lavia only a direct replacement for Enzo Fernandez now. I'll explain to you, I'll go into the details, and then I'll make sure that so you understand what I'm trying to say. Romeo Lavia, any a direct replacement for Abrantia, your friend Enzo Fernandez. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is simple. So, watch the Romeo Lavia. Like I said, he is more of a DLP, more on the ball. Same for Abrantia, your friend Enzo Fernandez. Now, in the first piece, Romeo Lavia is more press resistant than Abrantia Fernandez versus Caicedo. Abrantia Fernandez and Enzo Fernandez. Now, even before that, the reason why Romeo Lavia and Moise Caicedo pair no a more complementing. Now, a year Juma usually um, in games on the board, they usually tend to be doing very well. And he said, Social Moise Caicedo. Caicedo is more box to box. He covers a lot of the ground. He can cover long, large parts of the ground every time, consistently. Which man covers that ground? Several times. He is. But the frailty craft, something I think that this is what developing uh, hey, the on the ball actually, especially receiving on the ball in tight spaces. I think he has worked hard on that and he's getting better. But I know you have Lavia specialty. In T say only Kaiser but Kaiseru now doesn't have the job to hold on to the ball and then bring the ball in the first phase and play out from the back. No, he doesn't have that job. His job is now to screen for Romeo Lavia. Now, Romeo Lavia is born now. On TQ will be out. Now, Lavia occupies our space now. Um, so just any born now. Oh, born in Apa. He can now move in when I do the attacking box to box job now on the other side. Then Lavia will sit and then lead the, the rest defense to a so that they can press and counter press. They can be aggressive and they win duels. It's important for what they do. Now, our liking will be to say Romeo Lavia to the job that. Frankie the Young does for FC Barcelona. And I want to use the current Barcelona midfield on our uh, honor. Now, if you look a bit at Frankie the Young, Frankie the Young essentially is the DLP. Or it's not say, or dictating the pace of the game. Um, or no, they don't need too much of a defensive cover as much as Romeo Lavia. Now, where will be to say pa uh, Pablo Gavi, a hey, more of the box to box. I mean, you are the box to box, they are tenacious, they are aggressive, they may not be physically very dominant. They say, um, and, and, and I mean, a clear cut example who was a box to box player, and all a very, very physical dominant was a brand friend like Yaya Turi. Very, very box dominant, very, very, I mean, physically dominant, box to box, aggressive, ball carrier, everything that you want in dribbler, everything. Yaya Turi a modern day example of what a box to box made for that should look like. Now, but these days, they are a little bit diminutive, box to box, tenacious, aggressive. They scan, they're able to see the ball in the half then. But they don't particularly have to do a job of maybe creation or scoring and stuff like that. Now, roles have become very specific, specified in the game. And I need back where so the in the analyzing and then conversation around the game. Role specificity is very important as it stands now. Now, so Lavia complements Moses Caicedo easily because way upside, hey, way downside. I mean, it doesn't mean say the other one that is not good at the other side, but then they don't particularly do it so or like the other person will do it. Now, then comes in Abrantia and Enzo Fernandez. Now, if you watch Enzo Fernandez from River Plate, if you have watched Enzo Fernandez from his days at Benfica, um, every time he was a DLP like Lavia. Now, in that DLP, because most of the times he was playing in teams where they were not particularly pressed, even for Argentina. So, Lavia, economic, uh, Enzo Economic Akobo against Bolivia, Omko Akobo against Panama, Omko Akobo against all of these teams in South America. They don't particularly press Argentina. So, Enzo sits behind the block. Almost sitting whether in the low block, in the mid block. Enzo just sits behind the block. Then, so a long range of passing, a diagonal passes, or two call left, or two call right, or two call left, or two call center. And the games are not as intense as they are in the English League. So over there, he is easily able to do the DLP job. He took part in the West number five, Jesse, and then controls it like that. There are times when they will pin the team so high to the back, say, Enzo Fernandez will now push back and go and play more like an attacking eight, go and play like a ten. Now, in the English Shima League, Enzo Fernandez is playing in the league that is very, very intense. Now, I catch yourself, one of the slight downsides of Enzo Fernandez is that he's not press resistant. I mean, 
he's he's good he's able to receive the ball in tight spaces he's able to show the ball he's able to play forward he's able to dictate the pace of the game in certain zones for me i think that the best position for enzo and in the Chelsea team is what he's playing now on the Mariska, playing as a connector on the left side the left hand axle for chelsea where usually you have Marco Kera invert. Now, what Chelsea do is that Chelsea usually overload that area. Now, you need a connector because where Enzo Fernandez sometimes receives the ball is in certain zones where it is not ideal, let me use the word, to, to, to receive the ball from there. Now, so that area, no? so Obo Ball to one, that's what they keep more than two touches, so you're in trouble. So Obo Ball to one, you're supposed to play a one time pass across in diagonal. You're supposed to flick. You're supposed to probably let the ball go be in between your legs for your player, for the winger to receive in there. You're supposed to combine quickly. You're supposed to cut him. So, even in that area, component of Fernandez, he, 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 has, he has had to be, he has had to be to a certain level pressure system. And I, and I know that I did say just about a minute ago, Zenzo Fernandez, and yet, press, but that's, I'm not saying that he's not totally press resistant, but that's not his high quality. That's not something that he's known for, like Lavia. Lavia is wholly press resistant. I mean, it's, it's almost, I mean, ten, nine out of ten times you are not getting the ball out of Romeo Lavia. Enzo, if you press him maybe more aggressively, I mean, you can probably get the ball out of him maybe, I mean, uh, um, I mean, three out of ten times you are, you are probably going to get the ball out of him. And that's what Mariska does. Well. So then Lavia plays that deeper. Enzo plays as a connecting role, which is very important because he needs the same attribute of the ball as Antina Rona. Yes, this time it's more intense this time. They'll play with him, they will, they will be more aggressive towards him, they'll, they'll pressure him, they'll prevent him from really doing a lot of the job on open soil. Yeah. But then again, this is a place where you can see say Enzo Fernandez will try. It like after the game, no say oh Enzo Fernandez sometimes on Yari, maybe Enzo Fernandez, any quality and stuff like that. You can't take anything away from Enzo Fernandez. And I've said say, in your eyes, you think that he's flopping, but the kind of technical job Enzo Fernandez is doing for Chelsea. In the build-up phase as a connector is so important and people don't actually deep it people don't go in there and then see how good of a player Vante Fernandez Fernandez is in the job that he does in there and for me his quality for me his quality in fact yesterday uh on, on Sunday was it the time of Enzo Fernandez and Bear Man Nicolas Jackson I say I mean for for a new record in the English Premier League Nicolas Jackson has now scored or assisted 27 goals in the English Premier League uh, the only strikers that have been involved in more has been Eddie Holland and only Watkins in that time. And it tells you, and almost every time, either of Moise Kai said, or oh, Enzo Fernandez is involved in such a goal. Whether it's what they call a prayer assist, the assist uh, before the main assist, or um, essentially a uh, day going on and making sure say, they help Abrantia, their friend of um, Nicolas Jackson. Again, if you look at Obiti said Pedro Neto yesterday after the game was done, despite coming on a half time, Pedro Neto created more chances against Liverpool than any player on the pitch. And again, I've said several times that Pedro Neto is more direct. I think that the change of Noni Madueke on the right-hand side, I think Pedro Neto should have still been on the left and then still kept a branch of Feli Noni Madueke um, in there so that you get the best out of both players, which is very, very important I mean, um, in, in that regard because it's important um, you get the best out of both players in there, which is very, very, which is one of the best things that can happen over there. And and now, like I said, the two Chelsea midfielders, everybody's beginning to accept. After playing two full games for Ecuador, Moses Caicedo put up a performance versus Liverpool. Assist one, two chances created, 83 passes are crazy. 10 passes into the final third. And I did tell you that Chelsea had 18 passes in Liverpool's box. Moses Caicedo assisted 10 of them into that box. You know, and then one over one tackles won, nine over five ground balls won, nine four recoveries in terms of ball one in there. He started the game unlike Enzo and then Mareska. And that's the tenacity. That is um, the durability of Brantia, their friend Moises Kaiseiro, where he picked the ball from, finding Nicolas Jackson in that assist. Now. He has done it a couple of times already. And that's the quality of Brantia, their friend Moises Kaiseiro. For me, he's one of the most underrated players um, in the English Premier League. Again, I've said it several times. Maybe it's because of the fee at Chelsea at the tournament. But then again, people are now beginning to accept that these two are good. And it's the same for Enzo Fernandez. I think that usually people just um, do the analysis of Enzo Fernandez based on the amounts that he was bought. But Enzo is a quality player, quality. And I say this time that he plays more like a connector in them, not just about the interceptions that Caicedo and Lavia will do. But he does an excellent job on the ball. And there's zones where he has to tap the ball, and there's zones where he has to come in and hold on to the ball. 
it has been important. And Enzo Moise Caicedo has made more tackles and interceptions than any other player in the English Premier League this season. 45 tackles and interceptions um, in there. And that tells you the quality of the player that's called Moise Caicedo. He's important, important to everything that Chelsea does. And then same for Abrantia, be a friend of Enzo Fernandez. And of course, if you look at someone like Enzo Fernandez, he has grown into it, brings in that experience, brings in that expertise. Somebody the last time was saying, he said, Oshi Abrantia friend Moses Caicedo, and the recent form no, um, comes in when he has been very, very good, when he has had the armband. No, or um, maybe you would say, say Enzo Fernandez, and Moses Caicedo now, a very, very underrated when he's in I think that that has played part in how pe people uh, were given a lot of criticism. But over the course of the season, from last this season, um, how good they have been, have you seen that Caicedo have really, really improved, has been solid. Uh, last season, 91 tackles winning, in, in second for interceptions, possessions um, over there. He has been quality, 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 quality. And Oshie, um, in the partnership with Enzo Fernandez, that people probably ask for more. But I've told you, it is easier to see Caicedo and Lavia getting the job that easily because they complement each other so well than it is. But then Enzo Fernandez, also Caicedo, has been solid this season. And I think that he deserves a lot of credit for the job that they do it like I said, um he Moises Kais um, Enzo Fernandez um Romeo Lavia any direct replacement for Abrantia your yeah, friend of Romeo um I mean Moises Caicedo but again what you have to understand is that with how Chelsea are playing with how Chelsea do play I won't feel if you want know, one thing is very very clear if you look at I said the way you're on form the way are Copa my young former it means that the CAM or the central attacking it for that and the first DM rule is good now with Rhys James returning from injury, it means that even on the right hand side, Marlon Gusto, Rhys James, El Honum, now Wesley Fofana, and it was not the right center back. There's going to be Levi Cole, Benoit Belashili on the left hand side, Vega Kukreya, then in the middle of the pack. It means that El Wonfin Fionum and either of the wingers, either of the fullbacks, Gusto, Rhys James, Mark Kukreya, Moises Kaiser, no, no Moises Kaiser, Moises Kaiser, no, Kopama, they automatically, I think they will start. But Lavia, Enzo, with James, Malo Gusto, Marco Crea, um, these guys, these guys. I mean, it looks as you said, one of them may not be starting consistently. I don't know, who, but I think that Enzo Marais Castle stance now will go back to the Enzo Caicedo pivot in the middle of the pack and invert Crea. What it means is that with time, Chelsea may not have to invert again. Just you rather want to keep a bunch of friends, Marco Crea at the back, and then allow um, in the middle of the pack them to have Enzo, Caicedo, and then Lavia in there, bossing the midfield, dominating it, whether on the ball or without the ball. Because once Enzo adds to the midfield area, it means that you don't need to invert a bunch of friends, Malo Gusto from the left hand side. Now, just essentially have what it takes to control the game, they have what it takes to be good without the ball, good with the ball. And essentially, in that area, you have more technical players that can dominate the game and control the game from the back for you which is very very important so i mean these are things that we want to see but it looks as if somebody will not be starting consistently consistently for chelsea as the season goes on i mean in there in terms of who does what who doesn't do what it's very very important except you being sad and all hold on and then we'll see how it goes on in there of course i was mentioning to you said already already uh, it's Champions League, Champions League time, and of course, it will, um, I mean, all over the globe, and then wherever that you go, it's a conversation about the Champions League. But of course, we FC Barcelona, and I just know said the boys are back, the boys are back, and an exciting thing. And over the weekend, when I was watching a young boy, a friend of Pablo Torre, excellent player from for a brand friend of Pablo Torre, and also in his numbers against him, my friend is Sevilla, 11 touches, six of them completed. Two shots, two goals from a brand new friend of Pablo Torre, an excellent player. Lamin Yamal, six dribbles, five shots, three chances created, one big chance created, one assist from a brand new friend Lamin Yamal. Of course, Barca won three in assistance. Now, somebody was asking me, said, what's the difference between Hansi Flick and Xavi Hernandez? I think that for me, what has really done the trick and what has really been huge here, the fact that uh, there is more directness under Hansi Flick than the, it was and uh, um, coach your friend of Xavi Hernandez and that uh, Xavi Hernandez it was more uh more repetitive young ball shots passes Kakra and let's look for the opening but then you look at this Barca team 
they are much more direct and then again so many direct tv are they know when to press and there are moments and i think that that's one thing that will probably keep us a players not very fit for a very long time this season the moment where they press the moment where they have to sit deep the moment they have to sit mid, mid block the moment where they have to play forward and very very important i mean in the grand scheme of things for team bc and that's exactly what um, Hansi flick is doing different that's exactly that's the reason why Osho should be to say yes the pace that he usually he gets uses pace when teams push up and then there is space in behind for him to go and attack he does it several times several times they will go in behind or attack his ass he does it several times and again now because they're able to do that they're able to pull teams to push up against them they are able to get teams to think that they can come in and press them then they have the technical players um i mean in rafinha in dani Omo. i mean when you have it in pablo torre uh, when you have it in uh, pedri and uh, gavi to get a job and there are times where you've seen rafinha come inside send it if especially if kate about it and they keep you with nothing kate about it you cannot keep the weight then of course you have uh robert Lewandowski in it now i think one that's really how robert Lewandowski has been how the closeness of the Barca players close to a bunch of friends Robert Lewandowski. Now, you've consistently seen them, Barca players, you know, Eben Robert Lewandowski, they come close to him. They receive the ball in those zones are so like him. And once players are close to Robert Lewandowski, one without the ball, so Lewandowski will see ball and are able to press and counter press in that zone there and then. Again, say, born Edro Monti are able to now play through a bunch of friends Lewandowski for him to use his ball striking ability to get a job done. Oh, I mean, that's the reason why Lamin Yamala won four goals and six assists this season. Lewandowski won 12 goals and then two assists this season. Rafinha won five goals and five assists this season. And like I was saying the last time, that's the best center forward uh, attacking trail uh, or Euro as a stance now. And that's the reason why, even if you go to the Spanish La Liga, the next um, best player in terms of goals, I watch it has been Kaelin and Tony Mbappe, who has just six goals in uh, Spanish La Liga. And so, definitely, definitely. Bars have been some excellent stuff in there. 11 goals in La Liga this season for Bancher from Robert Lewandowski. The most of any player in Europe's top five leagues. He has now scored six goals in the last three games for FC Barcelona. And I think so, like everybody else is saying, you know, it is vintage Abrantia from friend Robert Lewandowski. On Wednesday, big game in a team of your friend of Barcelona, Ebo, in the Champions League against Vincent Company, FC Bayern Mission side on Wednesday. Vincent company will decide whether he will start like Jamal Mosiela against Barcelona. And I think say Vincent Company can't afford to go away to Barcelona and then not play a better friend Jamal Mosiela. An important game. Mundo Deportivo reporter no player. See, I don't want to look at anyone um, in there from a brand here, your friend of Gavi when he returns. See, he doesn't want to look at anyone. He was, just wants to focus in there. And Sumani has been not been lucky at all. And Sumani Fati. He has not been lucky at all as a stance now. Sa injury now kept him out. You know? There has been an explanation from Javi um, before where Oka said essentially it's about the muscle behind the boy's thigh. He did tear it. He decided not to be operated on. And that has really affected Abrantia, their friend, and Somani Fati. I mean, in that regard. So Fati needs to make sure say, he begins to start in the rehabilitation process now and then gets back into full fitness. Make sure, say, he doesn't have any issues in terms of the recovery because you need it. You can't. I, I think they have said particular for yes, um, I mean, Serge, you know, Nova back, and then he begins to play well in there. Um, everybody is building up to the big one, the big one, Yami Aduma versus Bayern versus FC Barcelona and Sport. Because it's a duel of goal scorers, and then it's in Portuguese, it's duelo de la Godores in there. Um, in there, that's also going on for both managers in the Hansi Flick Equa Coba against the former team. And Frankie De Jong was physically fine to play against Sevi Hansi Flick, purposely made him warm up all of the second half without substituting him um, as a warning. After the manager noticed some attitude he didn't like from the player in there, that sports and the area reporters are a referee, yeah, your friend, classical referee, Jose Maria Sanchez Martinez, and a bit too, and um, in that big one, that Barca over there now we go to fc real madrid fc real madrid almost a normal boy big game against team and your friend in dortmund it's going to be a repeat of the champions league final even last june thereabouts it's going to be a big one mind you i was a madrid any win is at champions league final no? but it's a new look madrid there is going to be killing the Tony mbappe leading the lines it looks as you said for the very first time madrid are going to go into such games i mean in there with killing Tony mbappe Champions League leading the lines over the 
Vinicius Jr. on the left, Rodrigo Goes on the right, on the right, Jude Bellingham just right behind Makase. Usually, one of the things that Madrid do very well is to use the ball holding ability. Sorry, a hold up play of Abrantia, your friend of Jude Bellingham, for him to hold up the ball, for him to control games and get the players to run off him in Mbappe, Vinicius Jr., and Rodrigo Goes. I think it's going to be very important, but it's not going to be an easy one. Madrid uh, at home at the Santiago de Benabal, a big, big, big one. And I'm married against Tima, your friend of Dortmund, Dortmund. And that's something that they are waiting for. Big one. And a team, my friend, Real Madrid, ex nephew, from my book. I said, 2024, Ballon d'Or, and Yamiya Roma. At close of next week, we know that Brent, your friend, Vinicius Jr., is going to come in. I shall not explain his tactics to players during the match against South Africa. She said, South Africa match right there. No, no, no. We have Madrid father. It wasn't a good game against Chelta de Vigo. And you know, say Madrid needs to make sure say they start getting results against um some of these teams. And I know say Louis Sari, uh, who is the manager of Tima, uh, your friend of Real um, FC Dortmund, really did watch that game against Chelta Vigo, and he will look at mapping up a strategy to stop FC Real Madrid in that game that they are going to play in there. I mean. It's going to be a huge, huge one in there. It's going to be a huge one between uh, Team Efreno, Dortmund, and then, of course, um, uh, Dortmund, and then, of course, uh, against Real Madrid, El Hormon. So, we'll to see how that is going to go in there. And there a lot of Champions League games. I'm thinking, say, uh, Oshay and Nep, the games are air course now. Real Madrid and then Dortmund is going to be a big, 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 big one. Big one. Um, Dortmund are on top of the Champions League. Leg face no as it stands now. Dortmund on top with Brest. I mean, was six six point Benfica. El third with six point by Leverkusen, Liverpool, Aston Villa, Juventus, Manchester City, Inter, four point Praha, Atalanta, Sporting CP, Arsenal, Monaco. All of these guys are unbeaten. Bayern on my show one. Barca Swashen one with three three points in there. So it's a huge set of games at Echo. So and then at the San Siro, there's going to be a big one between AC Milan. Versus Club Brugge, Club Brugge, AC Milan versus Club Brugge at war, the Champions League. Name in another big game for AC Milan. Any Paulo Fonseca, Fonseca knows that he doesn't have so much time. He doesn't have so much time as manager of Team my friend AC Milan. He needs to be getting results. He needs to be getting results as it stands now. And it's something that a lot of all the Milanists is not uh, trying to say, Team your friend of FC, AC Milan. Can get results in the push in the two teams in the um the lowest AC Milan would have played the lowest rank Italian teams now going away to Leverkusen. Uh Oshe, the head to head of FC AC Milan any Leverkusen. They've constantly gotten the results when they play at home. The last few games, AC Milan have done particularly well as it stands now. Um, we need three omelu um, to the loss against Fiorentina, the loss against Bayern Leverkusen, and then of course. Uh, Club Brugge as well, mixed results, two draws, one loss, and then two wins. That was the Belgian Pro League. So, I mean, it sets the tone. It sets the tone um, for this big one, for these games. Uh, but because of in, um, in, in El San Siro, players to watch some of Chukwe's and Hans Wenker. Um, five of Milan's last six FIFA Champions League games have produced over 2.5 total goals. No? Uh, so, possibly, there's a possibility there are going to be more goals in this. On Fifi Manfred WhatsApp channel, Snimo, you get all the links to all the games no? and all the bets and quotes now. Uh, no editing, just take them and then bet on all of them. And I'll put you there. Just four quotes today. Put reasonable amounts on all of them, and I think that you're going to gain some good cash. Uh, uh, such defending has seen them register standing four consecutive clean sheets for that is Tima. Um, and Mickey Hayen declared that his team are feeling modest. Out of this trip, claiming to be efficient, defending, and then underpinned their recent uptick of results. Such defending has seen them register a standing four consecutive clean sheets away in the UCL group stage matches as stands now, including scoreless draws in 2023 against formidable openers at Leverkusen and Atletico de Madrid. So it's very, very clear. So if your team beats a club, but they will come in and try to come and defend. FC Monaco has been on some very, very good form. Um, in the French League, uh, winning three and then drawing two. Uh, they have been unbeaten in their last five games, helping to set the pace for the League One. Uh, won six, drawn two, and yet unbeaten in UEFA competitions actions. Win one, one, drawn one. Things could be going much more smoothly for Adi Heartless Monaco. Um, coming from two down 
to maintain an unbeaten record in their latest continental game against Dynamo Zagreb. No, we think some Monaco will do or Real Madrid will feel a very little tricky game, but the Madrid should not be too bad in this one. Paris Saint Germain, Ebeko, Aqua Cobo, it will feel against Tima, your friend the PSV and Dovin. PSV and Dovin, um, a big one between the two teams. No, PSV and Dovin, a stubborn side, a card, a pack the prince, a big host to two players. Looking to trust this superb domestic performance, PSV and Dovin are also playing very well to collide in the French capital. Luis Enrique's men continue their unbeaten starts in the League One season with 4 2 win over uh, racing club the Strabag. Four games, six wins, and then just two draws. No, I will honor UCL before beating Arsenal, being beaten by Arsenal, two goals to zero. I will the end mates. And I said, This is going to be a huge one when combining such stats in the past failures. The competition, the, Par the Parisians are perhaps unsurprisingly placed among the seventh or the favorite in there, according to Opta. There appears to be no doubt in them. In their 37 games on mobile, of, you know, on the unbeaten 29 wins and 37 draws over there in terms of PSG travel south. They're even stronger domestic team and they are basting one when they come back from their area. They will see you know, they will not more. And all the link on the wall on P Man Friend on YouTube today will bring you um Ketin Razor. I mean, uh, to close the Ketin on P Man Friend on YouTube. See you at 12 another content jobs and 6 p.m. Uh, no, after all the Champions League games, another content jobs in the evening. See you. Bye bye.